have the first step forwards the Intel Grand Slam. Grand Slam. Yep, and they have that championship caliber event under their belt as well. This is a chance to stop them cold and keep that within I, reach. I think this is the head to head for the next Grand Slam in a lot of ways. I think, you know, G2 maybe gets in there if they can pull things back together. And yeah, figure out how to close out games or win a, win a map in the championship. Uh, that Yeah, that would be true. No. <laughs> championship thing more than anything. Uh, but no, absolutely. I think this, these could be the two teams that we see create quite a rivalry and you know, Navi's had an era, and if if Faze go toward an era, it will either. I don't know if Navi's had an era quite yet. Let's not get into that discussion at the moment. That's a great conversation for so another. So you're time. saying it was just a phase? <laughs> nice. There we go. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. It all comes full circle. Speaking of which, ooh, Boomich, forced out from behind the box by Electronic and Boomich. The one-two punch knocks him out of the round. Kerrigan's going to regress. Joined by Rain. They want to clear this. They want to at least have the information that nobody from Navi is actually here as Electronic and Boomich just walk away. How far does... I imagine Kerrigan, he seems like he's in a mood to get a little bit frisky. I think he's just going to keep pushing in towards Cave and have a jump on it, especially he might be able to hear those footsteps. Heading up Catwalk, Rain is going to be at railing all by his lonesome. Rain. Kerrigan, come on, you're gonna push this. You better nail it. Two people to peek him and Perfecto hits the shot. That's unfortunate. Backside is hard to hit the head sometimes based on the poison positioning of the body in front of you, but Rops makes no mistake coming back in from middle. It's back to Rain. He never had to leave this position. We saw him force them away. Now he's under threat. Same thing though, dinked up, gushed up rather, through the box, but that's not gonna deter him. He goes back out and gets both kills in front of him while Rops closes simple. Yeah, what a strong pistol play. Time running down as well. Navi was in a desperate scenario. They didn't find the weakness in that defense. That flank from Kerrigan, I think, really threw him for a loop. But good on Rain to just knock down these shots. Considering Kerrigan has the kit, when he drops this, that's there, there's no access to that. So that could have put that in a dicey situation, the retake. But you can see there, 10 seconds left in the round when the final kill happens. They had to just press forward, take that fight, challenge it. And unfortunately, they lose all the duels to Rain, a phenomenal pistol player in his own right. Deep smoke in mid. Bitten Perfecto in Upper Dark, simple. Just dropping down into the alley, and Electronic and Boomich outside of Long looking for aggression. No armor, no utility for Navi. Simple. Looking down toward the doorway, we'll continue to walk in that direction with bits close up to it. They've cleared tunnels, they want middle. And... Electronic wants to rotate and lurk toward B, apparently. Way back toward the spawn all by his lonesome. Rops in the window position. Has Twist watching the tunnels to his right so he can afford to stare down toward. Peace. Middle, okay. Peace. Hello, forgot you were here for a minute, Simple. Welcome back. Yeah. That dingle. Oh, no, he does it again. And there's Perfecto chiming in as Kerrigan tries to get the jump on the flank. Simple finally gets shut down, but the damage is done. Reigns on 2 HP as well. Oh, dear. Navi have the whole map to work with. 36 seconds. Twist is pulled towards CT spawn. Rain is chilling in pit. They're going to save these guns. Round is over. That is sick. Foolish. The shot on... Robs was stunning, and how fast was he on Brokey? We didn't see the perfect one from our perspective, but another one digging that, that's just outrageous. Just shut up. Have the round. We don't even want to talk about it. Let's see it. This is Rops. That's not an easy shot to hit by any means. Holy hell. And this one, yeah, Brokey's just starting to slide out. Three one digs, and the round's Perfecto's, over. Perfecto's even looking for Kerrigan because he pushed it last round. He needs to be careful how often he's going to do that. Two rounds for two so far, and he gets caught that time. Rain on 2 HP will survive. They'll keep two of the rifles up. That's that's a good response. They've got an M4 in the hands of Electronic now on the back of all of this, and it's going to go 1-1 just as Inferno did for Liquid. I was going to say, just return the favor for FaZe. Just stamp it, return to sender. Send it with DHL. It'll get there in no time. In no time. Well, anyone, anyone else might lose the package. I'm curious what FaZe is going to have here. Dropping a scout over to Brokey. They do have an M4 and FAMAS that they brought forward, so going to be buying up around that as well. Rops and Kerrigan pick up 5-7 and CZ respectively. For Navi, obviously some upgraded weapons that they're able to pick up off the ground. Three AKs, an M4, and an SMG, and MP9. That's going to be on Boomich. 
Rops in position at long. 5-7 close up towards the doors. Electronic. Holding it at bay for the moment, but he didn't see Rops cross. He lost that piece of information as he looked towards middle. Deep smoke from the CT side up mid. That's what took Electronic's attention away. In this position from Rops get a little, gets a little bit sketchy if they ever try and reconvene towards long A. Boomich starting to progress down mid. And Navi starting to line up in upper dark. Utility from phase is all spent. Brokey. Aware of the presence of one in middle. Plays the off angle to the sliver crack in the door. He's going to give himself up, though. Electronic taking him down. Damage. Not much. Oh, he could stop him at the window. That'd be mad. Oh, that smoke is so perfectly timed. Yeah. Kerrigan can do absolutely nothing. That smoke just negates rain. He almost was able to cover him, and that could have been interesting. But another round for Navi. Well handled. Electronic uh, going hunting. He's going to get dropped. Easy kill for Rops. M4, press E. Press E to pay your respects to the M4. He's got it picked up. Didn't want to switch over to it until he knew it was safe to do so. It's interesting how much Navi is hunting. I was surprised to see Electronic kind of slide out of long. Maybe, I think he he, he obviously thought, remember, I, I mentioned he, he didn't see Rops cross over, so he might have thought he could get the jump on the save and prevent them from saving those weapons. But Boomich was kind of flirting with CT spawn, although he stopped moving. Bit and Simple are coming up catwalk, so it looks like they have some extra money in the bank. They've got 4,600 on Boomich and 3,300 on Electronic, so it seems like they're kind of willing to risk a, a rifle or two, especially now they know the location of Rops, but he's doing great damage. There goes Simple. They've lost a lot. I don't know if that was worth it. Two to one. But Navi with their first lead since the pistol round on Inferno. Oh, yeah. God bless. Oh, so long ago. And even in a loss phase, is going to have a powerful buy. I don't, I don't think they want to risk everything to, to reinvest on Brokey and Kerrigan, but two M4s and a FAMAS. Let's see what Rain and Rops can do with these. Rain's going to get fast boosted up catwalk. Rops going to pass over towards the B-bomb site. One smoke just to make sure there's no kind of a rush. Mm. And Simple taking some shots down mid. Rain got through. I don't think he's aware because it's up catwalk. He's not going to see this rain. Oh. Shot shows. Man, oh man, Simple just saw the wing and clipped it clean off. Rain gave himself up. And he would have known that AWP was there. Ring was ready for that fight and still got beat. I need to be careful here. Brokey. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised Rain went, went for that fight up the alley, knowing the op was yeah, taking I shots. I thought he, he would have pushed out towards long, but it, I mean, you're kind of flipping a coin, right? That maybe the op has actually gotten off that boost. I think at, the, at that point, though, even if you hold long, he's going to rotate that. To, okay, 50 50. He could go B. Well, they know the location right. of the other M4 now. They know it's at the B bomb site. Rops has gotten that kill, so Electronic going to start sliding out long. That's the player who held it down in the previous round that picked him off. Electronic has actually got control out towards Pit for Bit and Simple to follow it up. Boomich keeping attention on middle. Nobody from FaZe has rotated towards the A bomb site. This might be another round where FaZe just say, you know what, let's just keep the rifles on this side, and if they come to B, great, we've got a chance, but they can just choose to save and play it conservative they're again. They're already backing off on that. That looks to be the call because they're, they're getting further from A, if anything. They'll clear tunnels. They'll check catwalk. That'll be about it. Twists knows that the smokes are there. Might as well take a few chance shots. If they're going to get the pistols onto catwalk and he can weaken them or give them a chance for a kill, then fine. But yeah, I think it's done right there, that Molotov. This is about as good as you could hope for for, for FaZe in, uh, in these two losses that they've taken in a row. Two players survive in round number two. Three players survive in round number three. You're going to have four players survive here, and they've all four got rifles. So even the fact that they're losing these rounds, they're not losing money. And you go back to Inferno, the economic control that FaZe enjoyed for the entirety of that game, setting themselves up to play a smart monetary... I don't know, smart monetary decisions here in the early stages of Dust 2. Navi going to have to get started the hard way consistently against pretty strong loadouts for FaZe Clan. Boom. Goes the dynamite. <laughs> That's still one of my favorite clips of all time. It's, it's wonderful. It's not bad. I, I agree. I don't know why Rain takes that fight. It's an op staring down a lane directly at him. It's not like these guys can't flick that fast. So why, why do you need to face it? You already had the map control. Yeah, it's just the option he chose, right? 
could have stayed. Well, past he chose wrong, Jason. Was... <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, look, that's certainly an argument, an argument to make, but it don't always doesn't always go the way it's designed. Electronic behind the Molotov, gonna try and keep an eye on anyone crossing those double doors. Bit's gonna. Oh, he's at least probing towards mid. Oh, okay, he is gonna walk out. He is gonna be bold. Reigns being a lot more passive this time has Twist coming back down as well in towards CT. So that's a double position. They're going to boost up in the firebox. Twist will be the elevated player in that situation with Rain all the way back to where he was born into this round. Smoke will bounce and land perfectly on the ledge. Give them a chance to work out from Catwalk. Smoke thrown. Secondary flash, but this is why you boost, because Twist has the angle. Good for the first. That'll slow them down. Now they know they're going toward the window at B. In B, Rops is locked inside of the closet. Tough position for him to play. Reverse door angle that's been now in play for so long that he's able to spot Electronic, weaken him up. And Twist will know he's held out at scaffolding, so when they work through, they need to be looking that direction. Rain gets the trade, but I think that could have been cleaner. They were too worried about double doors still. There's, there's no smoke here. Simple could actually challenge if he wants. Oh, he's tagged up Rain. I thought that might have been a double. They almost lined up for him through window. No, bold little jiggle peek. Bold jiggle peek, but it's going to add more damage. He's down to 11. Simple had to hold the wall, reins in, and he knows it now. He's in trouble. There's no way he even goes for this. He's going to try and flank all the way out around with bomb. 24 seconds. Desperately, but he might catch them off. He gets one kill right here. He could maybe, maybe beat them over toward the A side. Brokey shuts that down. Oh, that's that's very, very narrow margins for Simple to have one more kill and make that a difficult situation. Good job from FaZe. Great setup with the boost up, controlling mid, trusting Rops all on his lonesome. It did get a bit dicey, as you mentioned. I guess they might have thought that Electronic actually moved through the window, but you think R Rops would have had that information at the very least. They get caught snoozing. Three to two, the lead is whittled down to just one and a double up set up now for FaZe. Brokey with one, Rops with the other. Molotov in position, incendiary to be technically correct of the CT side range trying to hold them out at long. Electronic already through that, so too is Perfecto. Perfecto's the closest to the corner. He could swing very quickly. Brokey's gotta be careful on this. Saw the knife get pulled for a moment, thought maybe he was going to try and book it toward the ramp. Molotov down. He's already lost his supporting teammate in Kerrigan. He's got to smoke himself off. That's going to give away his position. So Rain getting desperate and aggressive jumps down to help him in that situation. They can go for the elevator boost as the rotation comes around for twists. It's going to slow down. Navi's going to have to hunt for kills tactically. This having is, a tough time with no flashbangs left. This is interesting, though. You have that aggressive toward long, and you already smoke Brokey out. All of the utility, the damage. Rop says, screw B. I'm just going to hold middle. He's in a prime position for a flank here and may even get a free one if they elect to rotate back after Rain gets two kills. What a hat trick for him. Simple's gone and Perfecto removed. Twist gets the kill through the doors, but Rob's had great positioning in that. Yeah, he says screw everything. Uh, he had to have heard the footsteps on Catwalk as well, so Rain was in just a, an absolutely great position and just phenomenal shooting as well. Trading a little bit sluggish from Navi coming around that corner. This is the last flashbang they had to get that opening kill onto Kerrigan, who never found the safety to fall all the way back. But it's all rain from there. 12 and 1 on rain in the first six rounds, averaging two kills per round. Rob's going to challenge up mid. Simple. Relegated down to the scout. Deagles otherwise. Perfecto gets a small tag onto rain down to 64. But long access is denied by the Molotov. Both Ops and mid. They're going to split now. Rops back towards the B window. Brokey to railing. Smoke. Minute on the clock, buys twists some movement. Although he's relatively to the right with that spam. Second one's a bit more of an off angle. Simple's gonna try and go for a boost. Twist able to spot that. Looking for it even. Didn't even react, just pre-aim above the smoke. Heads up play from Twist. Five on four for phase. Round naturally slow as Navi can't really force any comfortable fights. They're trying to give time to Simple with that scout to look for a pick. 
It's back in the hands of Perfecto. Deagle and Boom, which is perhaps the only other really dangerous piece of weaponry they have, but they're going up against Brokey. There's the smoke to give some space for the cross. They run before Plumes. Actually, excuse me, that's down towards CT Ooh. spawn. Oh, Brokey's got another perfect headshot. Kerrigan comes back for one more, but Brokey just getting warmed up. Yeah, that board getting a little bit steamy. That. Smoked across. Rob's even jump checking it. No one there. He's going to extinguish the Molotov himself and go straight through middle. AWP pushing tunnels? All right, bud. Reigns above him with an AK to support that. This. Ah. Okay. I'm into it. Dodges the first flash. Hits the shot. Didn't even have to flick. He was so quick on the trigger. Perfecto gets him down. Rain is smoked, so can't cover it. The Xbox smoke was thrown. That kind of foiled the plans of getting the trade kill and the information to do so. So that goes to a four on four. The Nate smoke might have been able to make that a dangerous follow up for Rops, but just not able to get comfortable. Navi presses and forces the issue. Boost up again in middle. Twist leaves the B bomb site. He comes out to join in a crossfire with Rain. Although simple throwing utility is going to pull Twist back in. You've taken away the opera that you've seen at the B bomb site that you've seen in middle. What's Navi's call from here? 50 seconds. They run boost across catwalk without any kind of a flashbang to force someone off the angle. Mid to B split that boost up. From rain could have an impact again. Smoke down. Again, though, that boost in play. Brokey trying to throw a nade in. Actually, tickles rain, gets two. One better than Twisted on the FAMAS. Better weapon in the AK. Perfecto turning back. Though, is aware that they're going to be boosted in that position. He's locked in by the Daihatsu as he has to work his way back out. And Simple has to try and get inside of the site. Twist holding by the car this time. Wide angle. Knew Simple was going to try and do something clever and speedy, but he's one step ahead again at B. Oh, and Twist let out to get more aggressive on the angle. Simple was thinking he was just going to hold his position, and he was kind of pre-aiming. I, I genuinely think that right now Twist is, is th when he knows he's peeking Simple, he's thinking that. He thinks, all right, I know this guy likes to peek fast and flick. I'm going to go the opposite direction. By the way, I've just pressed tab. Yeah. 15 kills for Rain. The next closest is six, and they're leading 5-3. Yeah, he's having one. And you can't enjoy the body language we're seeing out of Navi right now. Obvious frustration after the first map getting shut down. Here on Dust2, the scoreline isn't bad at the moment, but it's been four straight for FaZe, and it's been pretty convincing four in a row. Again, Navi in, the, in this four-round streak has only killed two players maximum on FaZe in any of these rounds. So FaZe feeling very comfortable with their game plan, and again, a new look. Twist in the B bomb site, Brokey in middle with the op, same with Rops. And they're sticking around. Brokey will have a chance to challenge the scout of Simple up on Catwalk. There's the slide out. There's the kill onto Simple, and Rops has the other one. Five on three. The Ops doing work. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's not ideal. Brokey's there for the save. Rops misses a shot as he's still slightly moving, flustered by the flashbang. Rain waiting, standing on the car. It's paper thin, so you might as well have used it to get an elevated position. It makes that headshot much more level. As shown, man, he is having a game right now. He's accurate. He's feeling it. This, I, I mean, I've, I'll, I'll get to the point in a minute. Let him finish his sequence right now. Let's not take away from him as he takes down Boomage. I asked Twist once, I said, of all your teammates, now that you're in Europe and you're, you're playing yeah. with you know, legends on phase right now, who's you're going the with most this. impressive in practice? He said, Rain, hands down. He said, that guy mechanically is un friggin real that's a pretty consistent thing that that pretty much all of rain's teammates have said at one point or the other that that rain's mechanics and his aim and is just so so actually insane and, and it's funny because i mean so many of his other teammates historically have gotten the attention you think he's played with nico now he's playing with guys like rops and twists this is the rain that was when they were at their best though with the previous lineup with nico with olaf this is the rain that was a big part of it we used to call him the cornerstone of this team he didn't get credit i think part of it is because he's just such a laid-back personality it's quiet yeah Quiet and it's similar to Nath in a way. The guy does silly things in the server and sometimes it just, you know, shrugs it. Like yesterday, he has that clutch. He goes, yeah, my heart rate didn't even raise. You know, it didn't even change. Well, that's not exciting, Nath. Tell me you were going crazy. <laughs> all right, then I'm going to be like, oh, I love you. No, it's all part of the persona, isn't it? Absolutely. It's all part of the legend. Upper dark. Perfecto bit and simple. Boomich is going to be close towards middle at the moment. Setting up a left mid smoke at the corner. Make Rops a little bit nervous. You want to put it into perspective right now? 
Navi combined have 14 kills. Rain has 17. Yep. Just beating them down. Twist tucked into a corner. Rops is pulled out of the bomb site by that smoke, but he's going to trust Rain. He's going to come back in support. He wants to take the attention. Just one kill would be everything for Rops. That's massive. They don't have the manpower to check left. Twist is going to get a freebie. Oh, Simple, the shot's baited out. Twist gets lagged, brought down to one HP, but Simple can't complete the kill. And Twist just has to make himself a small target. Don't is that peek. a lag or is that to clip through the wall? Either Might be way, clipped through the on... wall to the chest. Yeah, he either way, he's on one HP. He's got to try and bait them in at this point in time. They've lost the heavy hitter in Rain. Oh, my lordy, lordy, lordy. This is not a great Great look for Navi at the, mo at the moment. I mean, they must have known he was in the corner. I'm not sure what he's expecting. That's a clean kill for Electronic finally finishing him off. Has to get the bomb back, but now he has to go forward into the site as well. And Simple needs to hit some stunners. He can't do it. He only gets Robs and Brock. He removes him immediately. Electronic, one on two. Both outside of the mid wall. That lets him put the bomb down. Nose one's inside. He heard it, and he's going to spray it through. Window as well. He's got the information, but Kerrigan's got the AUG and the aim. It's going to be 7-3 to three for FaZe. That's either a miscommunication or a lack of communication between Kerrigan and Brokey there. So f f fair play to Kerrigan. I, I think Brokey thought he was going to either be following him through the window or coming through that smoke at the same time. But they, they've... Almost, you know, fake. Not really lifelike. They're so focused. Rops down. Oh, Bit's going to get it. Yeah, Twist. Oh, oh, my goodness. We haven't seen this yet. Rops has been pushing mid so many times. Twist is like, yeah, all right, cool. Thanks for the info. Yeah, but again, it, feel, it feels to me like like Navi is just like missing that, a little bit of focus because that, that's a protocol. You should have someone Someone's watching that. Both that. players, you get the kill, and both players are looking at lower dark for more. There's no coordination on who's actually watching for that upper push, and that's way too free for Twist. Look at FaZe as well. A heavy lean towards middle. Brokey, you're all alone. Okay, he's going to back off. He needs to get up into the bomb site. He doesn't make a decision. He's hovering between like three different options at the moment, and the A bomb site is not well defended until I, Kerrigan I think, pushes mid. Well, I think you nailed that as well. If he's going to go, he's going to go to the bomb site because there's no one there, and now the ops lock to CT. It's not like he's going to be able to defend long. When that smoke wall's Wait. gone, they'll go, but you're right. Kerrigan, perfecto, might catch him out. Kerrigan's going to be spot. He looked away. He's going to be spotted. He's down. It's an easy shot at that point. Does do well to swing back and get a bit of damage in, but Rain's going to go catwalk. They don't have a defense in A. That, their whole play was essentially going to be that mid-push. I, I was curious if Kerrigan would maybe hear those footsteps, but he took himself away from the wall. He might have actually heard them if he was pinned up along the wall making that walk, but he tries to go all the way in towards Cave. That would have been a winning play, however. No one was watching for that twist. Going to spam through the smoke. He's got two. He's got two. He's done great damage. Perfecto's down at nine. It's all gone wrong again for Navi. How do you cross over? You know bullets are coming in through the smoke. 20 seconds left on the clock. They can't wait any longer. They don't elect to go for the elevator boost yet. Brokey's going to get there. The smoke's in position, which means Twist has time to do it. And another kill from Rain. Simple and a one on three. He'll start it off stunningly, but Rain pops out again. This guy having the game of his life. The stand-in for JKS. 19 <laughs> kills and only two deaths. Yeah, he's always in a perfect position. This is outrageous. Kerrigan pushing a mid like that, even though it gets nothing, even though he gets caught, it tells him exactly what's coming. He's not missing. 19 and 2. It's not even that he has that many kills. He's not even, you know, you can get one or two and die each round and still you're doing your job with ADR. This guy's just winning every duel straight up. Brokey's going to nail Perfecto off the start. And look at Rops, double yeah. up. I was going to say that actually makes this push from Rops. There's so much disrespect happening on the server right now from FaZe. And I think that might be part of the problem. I don't think Navi's used to getting disrespected like this. I don't think they really know how to handle it. I think they're a little bit shook. Rops with another one. Nobody does this against the best team in the world. Nobody does this against Navi as they've tried to build you know it what? to an era. You want to know the only person that does do it is Kerrigan. Forget the fact that it's FaZe. He knows now. After winning Katowice, he knows and he's worked with these players. You have ROPs on this team. Brokey right now is probably performing as the most consistent player this year, arguably in the spot for number one over that of Simple just based on results. You've got Twists, who I think personally top five player in the world mechanically, if he can find that consistency. I think Kerrigan saying, screw it. Let's not give these guys the respect. Let's get in their face, and it's paying off. He's changing the conversation, isn't he? Usually when we go into these games, we're like, okay, how is this team going to be able to handle Navi? How are you going to handle Simple? How are you going to hit handle Bid? And Kerrigan's just like, how are they going to handle us? Well, exactly. But did you notice, <laughs> by the way, I just listed three ingredients to that. I didn't even mention Rain. And again, he goes overlooked so often. Look at the game he's having. That's just like the X factor. It's part of the reason when this Rops pickup came in from FaZe at the start of the year, when, when Rops kind of announced he was leaving Mouse Sports, it was like, well, that's an ingredient that makes an, FaZe an instant championship contender. And boy, is it coming to fruition. A lot of individual skill on this FaZe team. 
Navi running out of ideas, slow playing it, gets picked off by the AWPs. They're gonna come right in for a B rush. They've done a decent job so far. Perfecto and Bit brought down low. 20 HP on Bit, 12 on Perfecto, but they at least have hold of the B bomb site. They have plenty of smokes to keep those doors blocked off for quite some time. Double nade going through, trying to land those in toward closet in case anyone swings to that position. It's become far more viable in both holds and post plants for this exact reason. You can see the cross to the window. You can see the access to the door. And this might be around for Navi, finally answering eight in a row for FaZe. But they'll say it. They got well, so much utility. That's exact, And so much money. They're definitely going to go for it. But inside the site, low HP electronic on un unexpectedly near the window. What a shot for Oki as he goes through with the no scope. But the double peak position from double stack inside of the site. Rain still alive. Of course, he's the one left over. But Simple will finally euthanize him. And it goes to 9-4. Yeah, all that utility that FaZe had to spend, all those Molotovs just went into positions that Navi wasn't actually playing in. That's a bit of a rough outcome. Nice attempt on the retake. You had money as well to throw out a round like that due to some of the smart decisions you made earlier on in the half. Those are typically tough retakes, and frequently we saw teams, even in even man situations, just elect to save. But the utility and the money forces them forward into the bomb site. Navi finally able to put a stop to the run. It was eight rounds in a row for FaZe. Long play. Navi has picked up the pace. Slow wasn't working. Fast has gotten you one round, but this time it's swept aside. Kerrigan with the all-important trade to hold on towards long, but Navi's coming right through this. Kerrigan's got a new position out towards blue bin. Bit goes down. One player's already out. That's perfecto. Kerrigan using the entire magazine. He's still got Brokey's op in support until that smoke plumes. That's a good smoke, though. Gets him out. They're going to jump in. Little did they know Brokey had actually gone past the edge of the wall, so he was able to spot that. They couldn't even catch Kerrigan. And Simple's being chased. Right now, who chases Simple? Who puts this man out of his comfort zone? He's got 100 HP, mind you, so let's not roll around out of this guy's mind. But they know exactly where he is and what he's up to. Don't give them away that easily. Kerrigan and Brokey both go, but Rop's ready. This is both maps now. Like, philosophically, FaZe come into this and have obviously had the conversation leading into this series of just like, look, we're going to take every inch of map that Navi lets us have. Everywhere we're going to be aggressive. When you feel like you have the moment, when you feel like you have the space, push forward. Don't give Navi the room to operate around the map. Don't give simple room and time to find his picks and find his fights with the AWP. This is awesome to watch. And Navi, you can just feel it. Out of ideas. Be rush and do a long rush. You know what, though? I excuse Katowice because of the circumstances of what was going on and is still going on in the world. But this event is going to be a wake-up call for Navi. They are going to have to go back to the drawing board. Well, they were very, very vocal last year, saying one of the reasons they were even able to elevate to that position is because Gambit had such a great start to the year. They felt that rivalry actually spurred them forward. This might be one that does something similar. We'll have to find out. But at least for the moment, look, they're still in this game. As much as we're talking about how awesome this is from FaZe, Navi's just six runs back. And if they can steal away this final round, that would be brilliant. Be 10-5 again, just as the last map was if they do at halftime. Close call at the mid doors. No one willing to budge, although I say that Rops is starting to slide. See if he can get anything in it, or if he's aware that Simple's so close. You know Simple's waiting for timing. Bit's already at the boxes at B. Perfecto's walking out. They know they have that position to themselves. Rops sees that. That is a hard shot to hit. Simple, this is his cue. He has to go and support the players inside of the tunnels, but Twist has already moved over, and that's going to make things extremely awkward for Simple, who doesn't have utility, and Twist will win the duel. Uh, mentioned at one point. Wait, wait, electronics are caught on the open. Caught on the open. In. Oh, okay, maybe not caught. Rain doing a clever little spinning bunny hop, going for something crazy. Electronic able to get one kill, adds another on top of it. Rops trades it off. But a man advantage for Navi. I was going to mention, yeah, Rain had more kills at one point than all of Navi combined, but that's him gone already. Good find for them in this start of the round. Simple lighting it up now with the P2000. Hits Rops all the way down at Long. He's done damage again on a Brokey. They need to get him out. He's going to come flying out with a flashbang thrown by Perfecto. Kerrigan blinded by it, and Simple and Navi are responding. This would be two pistols for them in this game. But this one being CT sided and no bomb plant for phase, there won't be much guns picked up by them. Brokey seems to want to have other ideas on that, but the P250 eluding him for now, and we do get a fifth and a win for Navi.
Look, we haven't we have yet to see. I feel the team of Navi actually show up in this match in terms of their their individual prowess. This has been like really lackluster individual performances from these Navi players. This is their map pick. If there's a map for you to kind of wake up and show up on and make this interesting and close and not have some kind of a long eight round comeback that falls short like you did on Inferno, is you have to imagine it's it's obviously has to be heroes they're eliminated. But but this is this is where you'd think you know coming into this half they'd be able to kind of actually step up and show. But they've arrived to the playoffs, or arrived to the quarterfinals. Kerrigan getting aggressive scout to try and spot through the corner of mid. He's just gonna run it. Why not sprint all the way to catwalk? Drops Deagle. See if he can have shades of simple oh. in the first half. Oh my god, the only thing faster than that shot from Kerrigan is a 240 hertz monitor from Zowie. And if he wasn't using one right now, there's no way he hits that. That is a flick and a half. That's wild. That is an absolutely crazy shot from Kerrigan. Even getting tagged up as well by Electronic. What an opening kill to find. Simple. Defending over at Railing Boom, which is out towards Long with the MP9 to protect. It'd be Twist who challenges him. But Faye's not ready to pull the trigger on anything just yet. Gonna let some of this utility be spent from the defensive side. They've got two scouts as well. Twist, Steagle. Knows there's definitely someone on the inside of the cave because there was a shot that hit the secondary door. Simple holding the off angle. Reverse lane. They're going to plant safe. They can cover the catwalk with this. So they've at least got the bomb down. No need to. Oh my God. I was going to say overcommits. Kerrigan nails it again. Not done with the scout is this man. He's an absolute nightmare at the moment, but here comes the retake. Rain's actually going to flank it. Rain's going to flank it. The Deagle, it doesn't connect. That might actually spur them forward quickly because they know Rain's out of position, but Rops is going to shut down Bit. He tries to step through the smoke. Out towards Long, there's one more player. It's Boomich. He's susceptible to the scout. Perfecto looking for the heads. Boomich goes down. Navi having an absolute nightmare provided by Kerrigan. Those scout headshots are going to give them such a hangover tomorrow, and it's a seven-round lead for FaZe. Shaking it off. Kerrigan doesn't even look like he's ready to quite celebrate quite yet. This is unreal. That's so fast. He over rotates his aim and has to pull it backwards as yeah, well. Electronic even. All you can really do is put on a little bit of a smile and say, oh, my God. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Even grab simple. What a pair of scalps to take to open up the A bomb site. A little bit of a cheer. Back to full focus. And he's not done. He's going to go aggressively toward the tunnels. Catches out perfect, though. That could have been very dangerous given that... He had the Deagle in hand. So they do return serve. Exactly what Navi did to them in the first half. They turn around and do back. And it's what they did on Inferno. So the second round, no one, uh, aside from the second half of Inferno, no one has converted a pistol round yet. It's one for four in conversions at this point. Why not? Rain underneath the smoke. Simple's going to tuck himself into the cubby. Trying to allow Bit to take some attention away. Sees the jump for the smoke. Sees the drop down. Simple's activated close up. He knows Twist is tagged. He's low. Twist comes in anyways. Grabs the M4. Go -Go Gadget arms and Simple can now hold the line. Hold the double doors as Boomich comes in for the flank. Uh oh, this is getting dangerous. This is getting real dangerous for FaZe. Navi might just have the rebuttal, but it's Rops and Brokey to recover. Decent find from Rops. That'll free up a bit of space because the map was very much shrinking. Like Han Solo in the garbage dispenser, Chewbacca was a little worried. His electronic though gets robs out. That's a tough position to be in. Now they've lost the bomb inside of the door. That's another one they can't give away. They've made this so hard on themselves. Low HP spraying through, can't hit it. Broke, he's gotta be careful. He's down to 13, simple 19, and has the better positioning. He sees them as he goes back through the tunnels. Deagle, oh, oh the devious Deagle. Oh, Brokey, he's up for the challenge as well. That's a tough shot to hit. It's a one-hit wonder, and his whole body is exposed. It's a headshot angle in favor of Simple, and he'll give it up, but the race is on. And with his flip doors, reverse position, M4 picked up. He saw him. Did he? He had to have seen gonna it. tap it. It's going to fave a fake plant. Oh, Simple's going to lord into it. Is he? Smarter than that. Simple. He's one up on him. He could have been repeaked it. Brokey goes back. He's not done with it. Oh, my. The game's on this guy. You want to battle for number one this year? Who is Zywu? Because it's Brokey and Simple one-on-one. -on -one. That's... An amazing clutch. How often do you see Simple miss two Deagle shots like that on a low HP player oh, and lower dark? Tough. That's yeah, that's really, really painful. Oh dear. The response from FaZe, they recover. Navi needed that in this comeback. 13 to 5. You can't buy in this round if you're Navi. All of a sudden, FaZe is gonna be so far ahead. It's three USPs, a P250, and a Deagle on Simple. 
13, five. I mean, this is a ridiculous, everyone was predicting Navi in this series and rightfully so. Brokey's gonna start it, Simple's gone. Boomich as well, blinded on the second shot but had the lineup before the flash came in, gets him back. They're just gaming. This, this almost in some some cases feels like a pug. It's almost like they're like this playing the FPL for like the first 30 seconds of the round. So, <laughs> here's my thinking on this, and, and it, this is why I don't like Dust 2 in a series. We saw in the first map, it was just a straight up, the, the exchanges, the duels, the percentages, we're all going phases way. The problem is Dust 2 is the deathmatch map. And if you've got five players that are hitting that hard, especially the way Rain was in the first half, tactics are almost secondary in some of those occasions. Dust 2 is a tough one to pull back in that situation. Yeah, well, it's Navi's pick. And they're getting battered on it. Simple said it was going to come down to the individuals we've referenced a couple of times. What better map to see those individuals shine? Unfortunately, much like Inferno, all the shine is coming from the face side of things. 14 to 5. Like, I guess the example I'm making is that, you know, on Inferno's a bad example because they lost that as well. Like, let's go to Ancient. You get smokes down, you're cutting off the lane, you're isolating battles, you're making things awkward. It doesn't matter if one player hits one or two shots, you're going to overwhelm them eventually with tactics. Tell me an angle you haven't faced in a deathmatch in Dust 2 within an hour of playing it. Here. But moving forward into 2022, you might be right. Hopefully this is going to be a bit of a wake-up call. See them snap back into it. Kerrigan gonna burn oh, I give bit that one I definitely got some bullet damage on top of that Molotov to make it take the total life out of Kerrigan they're not done going toward middle though they still want to try and get this split deeper smoke than the one that was thrown in defense of them at the B tunnels position simple gets twists down no smoke they just want the straight contact play it's not going <laughs> to I was about to say it's not gonna work for them but I forgot that rain is having the career game Right now, at now 23 kills. Now, when you slide out like that, you're kind of taking away all the wide angles he could be in. I say career game. Interesting. That's his first kill of the second half. But let's not take it away because he was so good in the first one. Rain's had a, a lot of career games across his long and storied career. Here we go. Flashbang out. Rob's down low. He's going to get out towards long. That's an important kill from Boomage. Electronic might have been able to trade it off, but they couldn't afford to lose any more players as FaZe enter into the bombsite. One more headshot from Boomage, and there's Perfecto. Navi's still alive. They keep FaZe off map point. That's critical. They have to go on a little bit of a run here before FaZe to get to 15. If you want to feel comfortable at all, you need to get within striking distance before FaZe gets that 15th round. This was the start from Pit again. He put the Molotov out, yeah. So a couple of shots land. Gary gets slowed down. Damage. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, I get slowed down and stuck on top of the Molotov. Some stopping power on that M4. Yeah, frustrating. It's not the size, it's the stopping power. Little Archer reference. Maybe your best reference. Thanks. That's kind of sad. Rops is ready to try and support middle with the smoke. That's the pin smoke, if I'm not mistaken. He did that all in his head. Remember the calculations, Rops? Yeah. You no, know, he's, he's figured it out. Got out his protractor. Simple up on catwalk. Gonna have a lot of attention. He, he actually just drops down. He's not gonna stick for the fight. I thought he might. I don't think he realizes the fight is coming there. I guess otherwise he would have stayed there. Molotov going to be late. They're going to go past that. Blue Electronic cut out in the open, but they're unarmored and it's just pistols and they're all aiming at Simple. So unfortunately, Simple goes down to the Glock of Electronic. That's the only kill FaZe is going to find here. 14 to 7, heading into round 22. Simple at 16, Electronic at 12. Rain, as we've mentioned in other times, having an unbelievable game, 23 and 10. Brokey is next up with 18. Brokey going for the op shots in middle. No one there. Smoke already covering it out. Simple's going to get aggressive. Here we go. This is what we need from him. Exactly what the doctor ordered from Navi. Back off of it. Don't need a protractor to throw it from that position, do you, Jason? Nope. No tools required. Well, a mouse, that would be. And maybe a keyboard. Okay, fair play. Simple. Maltov is going to come out. He's going to counter it, but again, 
It's late. Kerrigan's already beat it. Doesn't want to challenge, though. They, they, they beat it, yes. They're ahead of it, yes. But they haven't really... Well, they put a second one, to be fair. I think Electronic threw that in support, but they're not going to go on that. He's isolated. So they still get what they wanted out of it in delaying the take. Smoke. Double smoke? Yep. Set up that wall, but Electronic's behind it. Kerrigan's going to come through. Electron oh, he turns early. He turns early, but Kerrigan didn't hear the silencer. Kerrigan had no idea his position. His... Audio might have been obscured by the flashbang as well. Just a little bit off is out. Simple's got a double. Shuts down half the attack. It's just Twist. Man, oh man, Twist. He has bomb. He can make a play for this. He's switched to the AK. He's got to be quick about planning that if he wants any chance of trying to hold off his sight. Electronic knows. Flash comes in. Simple, or excuse me, rather, Twist is done. He's desperate to get that bomb down. And Navi now with number eight. Nice double from Simple in the middle stages to take away the mid-prong of that attack. Allow his teammate to go one for one on the B-bomb site and make a three-on-one very, very easy. No smoke in CT spawn. He even knew it was coming. They wanted Simple to shoot at the first player, I believe, who didn't swing wide enough, and Rops was going to grab the angle with the AWP, so they did want to challenge that, it appears. Down to just a six-round lead. I was going to say scout for Kerrigan. We already saw how effective he was in that in the second round of the half, but Bit this time makes no mistake taking him out early. And if you're FaZe, I think you might want to take a timeout on this next round and just talk things over. Remember, your priority has got to be avoiding nuke. However sluggish Navi has been in these first two maps, if they start waking up now going into the third one, if they somehow steal this round and come back in this game, oh boy. Oh boy, would that create such a tense third map. Simple peering up mid with the off, tagged by the scout, and even picked off by Rops with the second scout. No real danger yet. Was that a clean miss or was he aim punched on that? He has armor, so I can't imagine, but either way, he's down, he's gone. I think it was just a clean miss. It happens. He it does. I mean, it happens a lot if you're me. Uh, but Electronic is going to try and make amends for it. Looking for the third headshot. It's Brokey that's going to pop up. No scope him down and tries to go further than that, but Bit is ready for it. Nine now for Fa uh, excuse me for Navi. And we all often say the comeback becomes possible. We start to believe when they hit double digits. Yeah, but this is great. Now four in a row for Navi. They've dug deep. They've put a stop to the phase run. Now they're going on one of their own. CT sides looking strong for both teams. How long can Navi keep it up? In the first half, it was eight rounds straight for FaZe once they got a double up setup going. Uh-oh, Bit's gonna have to back out of that, I think, yeah. What a great Molotov from middle. Bit needs to run, Simple needs to give up the angle now. Another molly towards lower dark to make sure his teammates can get out. Delay things, delay some control. Kerrigan's across top mid. Over to green box. Navi's going to rotate into a more standard default-ish setup. Simple playing car in between the bomb site and pit. Boomich outside of pit and electronic inside the site. Perfecto and bit both playing inside the B bomb site. And FaZe have mid control as Rain is perched on Xbox. Smoke thrown. They've got the crisscross covered. They need to just watch the firebox. Rain's already considered that with his crosshair placement. He's even looking at the window and he's wide. He knows he can get out toward middle now. Repeak. He shot, gives himself up. He was definitely spotted, but it's going to fall off of it. The smokes are going to dissipate on this, though. That means they can reposition toward the window. Now, he didn't really fully sell this toward B, but he confirms they're both inside of the site. So that means they're more comfortable taking A, or rather trying to, because they know the rotation is going to be further from the site. It may not be mad needed or matter. If Simple can hit shots like that, Electronic walks out there lining up again. And the bomb gets flung forward and down toward CT. Simple has twists. This is looking much, much better for Navi. This is looking scary if you're phase. Yeah, Navi's arrived. Navi's arrived into this game. I think just, just by sure, I yeah. That would be such a sigh of relief. Once you, once you ensure that you can't lose the map in regulation, you can play perhaps a little bit looser. It's a nifty little off angle for Brokey. Optimistic angle, hoping that someone's just going to give it to him, but don't think you'd ever suspect that one walking up toward top middle. And you're likely walking as well to be silent if you're sneaking the map that hard, so chances are you're going to be slow and therefore give him a time to react in that. Ops firing back down toward the 
Mid doors, Bit is on the other side of them. No damage done. Just trying to figure each other out with a bit of cat and mouse. They're going to go right back at Simple Electronic again. I don't know if I want to the way that they're both firing right now. Well, let's find out. Nade's coming in. Electronic going to move behind the smoke. He's got rain. One's dropped down towards spawn. I don't think Electronic noticed that. I don't think he realized it. He turns and checks. That's a nice win. A tough win. But an important one, Rops has lurked out towards Long. He's found by Boomich and Simple's up, rings out again. Brokey, the last alive, taking shots, and Boomich helps his team out. And Navi starts getting a little bit loud. Actually, I think that was Robin. Now that I think about it. Did it sound like Robin? It was English. It was English. Definitely not Ukrainian. But they definitely need to get it moving. They're absolutely right. I mean, even at that time, Kerrigan gets down below. Previously in this game, Kerrigan gets that kill. I'm not sure that it would have amounted to the round, but it's just a small sample, as you say, the eye test, if you will. And a shot rains out from the AWP of Brokey. No success on it. They're going to rotate that over instead. They're going to activate Twist. Flashbang comes in. He puts out the Molotov, but he's spammed down through smoke. Now Navi's starting to get a few fortunate kills go their way to make things easier. Out mid we go. Kerrigan trying to pick up the pace, but the Molotov forces him back. Great play from Bit. Great defensive utility to buy himself some time. Flash. He's trying to force this split. Flash over the wall. That was just support middle. Rain gets the kill on it. Bit kills Kerrigan in the site. Perfecto's the last. Oh, I take it back. Bit won that. I thought he was going to go down. Brokey. Good shot. Rain will pincer. And Bit's gone. They have the B site. They need to hurry about the bomb, though. Simple's going to try and catch the cross with a shot through. But watch the tunnel's rotation. Already in position. Boomich takes one shot. Now, whether or not they heard that being silenced is another story. And Simple's given up on the AWP. He wants to get aggressive on the clutch, on the take. And Boomich wants to join him. They want to try and go together. Where does he put the Molotov? That's the big question right now for Boomich. He wants them to be nervous about that smoke when it clears, but both players are going to be retaking from doors and window outside B until Rain wow. pounces. There he is. He's back. I was not expecting that from Rain. I thought they'd play Brokey with the low HP as the bait and Rain to cover the wall. He swings on it with the information. He said he'd gone quiet in the second half, maybe in terms of volume of kills, but certainly this impact is very loud. He got the kill on Electronic as well earlier in the round. Huge win for FaZe. They put a stop to the run. The run is cut short at six. And FaZe have four chances to close out the map and the series, make their way to the semifinal. They'd be facing off against Furia, who've got to be shaking and their little booties watching this one. Simple with the deep, ang deep angle towards top mid. Bit as well, double up set up for Navi. Simple sees nothing. Rain doesn't see anything either, but still tries to figure something out with a few shots inside of the smoke. Bits hold. Ooh. What? Okay. Rain's just like, oh, you want to shoot at me? I'll move out of the way. That one to jump over the next bullet. Parkour. Insane. Oh. oh, that's a nice boost. Off angle, you don't expect that often, and Rain does get caught eventually. Yeah, it's off angle to deal with. There's a couple nifty little boosts you can do. Boomich is the next one to be called upon. Simple trying to hold the line as best he can, but this they is... can swing wide on Boomich. It may be. That smoke means they can, because otherwise, if they swing too wide, Simple's in a position. That's the setup to catch them out for it, so it's a, a crossfire. But Boomich gone to twists, and now they know that the AWP is likely out toward that car. Simple hasn't moved yet, but they're going to back off of this. They aren't going to overcommit. Do they know about Bits Op is the question. He's, he has fired it in middle. They might discover it now. I say they know Simple was there. I don't know if he did fire a shot. I thought he put one into the smoke speculatively. Either way, oh, they clip him. Bit was spotted. Brokey was absolutely on the mark. In terms of thought, I should say he wasn't on the mark in terms of shot. Did hit, but not kill. Molotov for the site on Rops, if you want it. Electronic is playing at the single box, crouched down, looking for his time to pop up. There it is. Simple's going to start sliding over. Eight seconds on the clock. They need to go. And there's the ops ringing out. No access to the bomb site. Twist with one kill on Simple right at the end, but it's all over. 15 to 12. Navi just need three more. Three more in overtime resets everything, and I honestly look to Navi to be the favorites if they can. Gonna head in that direction. Instead, four players towards upper B. This could just be an execute onto the B bomb site. Double off setup still in play. Perfecto is the only one there, but Bits rotating. Twists will be solo mid. He's a team in himself at solo mid. Uh oh, Perfecto's down. It's it a problem. They pushed him out. You're right. Bits out of the sight. He's got the WP. No one peeking. This is a huge. 
a retake for the map in a four on five, and you've got a double op set up. That is worst case scenario. Rops has the AK as well. Boomich is going the long way around. Twist is still there. Oh, he's heard it. Twist has heard it. Boomich, there's no way he checks the wall. Twist is scurrying as desperately as he dared to get back to the corner. Boomich looked. Twist still found it. Now it's a five on three. Navi, I said they just had to survive regulation. No one might survive this round. Rops with the kill already onto Electronic. He's not done there. He pops out that AK menacing perfecto. Gave it to them on a platter. And Simple knows he's in trouble. One versus five. He'll start it off with Kerrigan, but that's because they're running him from the bomb. It's all over. This one's blown up in the face of Navi. Faze are going to go 2-0 and push their way to the semi-final.